Oh, it's an exciting day in the garden, provided the rain doesn't scoop up my plants. So I've just gotten a text message from my garden nursery delivery. So <laughs> when I was when I was in isolation that time, I I mean when you're stuck at home, you do a bit of online shopping. However, I did online plant shopping, <laughs> which is dangerous. I was actually in Tully Nurseries like three weeks ago with my pal Karen and I got like overwhelmed but it was night I was looking at everything so there's a couple of things I wanted to get. I wanted to get some climbers. I wanted to get some I can't think of the name now but you'll see it is it cam camellias? No. Let me get the order. Do 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 okay I got yeah camellias. I got two camellias. I need to basically every time I watch Gardener's World on a Friday I'm like I'm gonna buy that. Did you see the woman with the pel they were calling them pelagoniums that's the correct term but the geraniums, not the hardy geraniums, the other, we call them geraniums, but she was explaining that technically they're pelagoniums. Um, I was like, I wanna fill my greenhouse full of them, but I need to, to just pace myself after I watch that program. So I wanted to get an evergreen climber for the back just section, which I'll show you. I've got a tree, which I'll chat about trees later, because I've become a bit of a tree hugger. Um, I got a magnolia tree. Now when I say I bought a magnolia tree, it's in a 20 litre pot. And I think it's the size of me, but I'm only small. So I didn't buy a huge tree. It was only like 70 euros. That's all right for a tree, but I'll chat about the price of trees later. Um, yeah, my magnolia, camellia. I got some hardy geraniums for the borders because I love hardy geraniums. They're just, they love my soil. They love the Irish weather and they're the unsung little hero in the garden. And then I just got some trellis. I also got two other climbers for the wall in the front garden. If you remember, I got the ivy grown on the other side had gone really woody and I got my friend's dad to clip it back. So I got this one, but the reason why I'm smiling is because it's like cautious, could be invasive. And I'm like, you just trimmed off an invasive climber and now you're putting another one back on. So it's called, hang on, Fallopia. F-A-L-L-O-P-I-A, Arboretti Polygonum. I think it's deciduous. Yeah, I think it is. But it basically gives you green full coverage during the summer and a lovely white flower. So I got two of them for the front of white wall in the garden because one thing I don't have is enough climbers. So that's one thing I wanted to fix. The delivery man is on the way, that's great. And then also I'm getting some help today because my big tree out the back garden, but I'm like, please don't rain because it was like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you, but like, don't rain. So you guys know I have like that big tree in the back garden. It's kind of like a shrubby bushy tree. Also, I got tomato plants. I went in for grass seed and I saw these at the door and I ended up buying two tomato plants. Here's Blondie. I am just getting my tree slightly trimmed because if you remember last week's, our last garden video that I did, I was saying that an egg had fallen on the ground. So I'm conscious of nesting season. I know we're still really early in nesting season. You're not supposed to like cut bushes or anything from now, I think until like September. I don't know. It may, might be different in your area. So I'm just getting any dead tips. Like what I did last year with the tree when I had the loppers, I took off the bits that were um, crossing and breaking into each other. It's a very shrubby tree. I don't know what tree it is. I need to use that plant app to find out what it is. It's not a hawthorn tree. It's like a dupe of one because it does flower around about like June. It gives a lovely white flower, but I don't know what it is. And it gives a lovely leaf in autumn and has berries. I am literally just getting them to take the tips of around it off and any of the cross and branches. But obviously I'm being careful of like not interfering with if there is anyone in the tree. And the other thing I'm getting help with is digging holes. <laughs> so where I want to put the camellias, I put my pitchfork in and I was having a little rummage and I found my garden, if you've watched my previous garden videos, it's like the builder just put all the rubbish in the back garden, put topsoil on it and grass seed. They didn't think that, you know, a little gardener would want to turn it into a lovely garden one day. So that was one of the problems when I did the border there. My brothers had helped me with like finding just rubble and rocks and plastic and oh, it was awful. But 
I just hope there's not a dead body or anything, like a dead animal or something. Because the first thing I thought when I saw plastic was like, has someone buried something? Um, I don't think it is because, I mean, if it was a... If you buried something, you'd put like a little cross, wouldn't you? But there is a sheet, a big sheet of plastic. And I don't know what's underneath it and I can't get it out. And there was like netting and... I watch, okay, I'm waffling now, but I watch way too much crime dramas. <laughs> so the first thing I thought was like, if that's a dead body, the guards are gonna dig up my whole garden. <laughs> so I was like, please don't be a dead body. And I was like, girl, you just watch way too much documentaries. Like, you need to stop that and just start watching the fluffy stuff. Sweet Magnolias, not sweet serial killers. Yeah, I'm getting help digging that so that I can get the soil nice because camellias are ericaceous. So <clears throat> I have some ericaceous um, like soil conditioner to get it nice for them because one thing I've learned is you can buy the plant but it might not like your soil and you're just wasting money if he's not gonna like your soil. But that is the plan. I'm going to get me wheelbarrow ready because the text message was like from the nursery, um, estimated time, 10, 20, please have someone to help. And I was like, that's me. Get me wheelbarrow and he can, I don't think my plants are huge that I've ordered except for the tree. So I'll just put them all in the wheelbarrow and like wheel them in. So that's what we're getting up to in this video. It's gonna be longer than usual. So this is the corner where I want to dig up for the camellias but there was like there is something underneath here and um, i've just been throwing the empties from my wheelbarrow here so this is going to get loosened up mulched because y'all know i love that mulch <laughs> and i'm just going to put some conditioner into the soil for the camellias so i got two so i'm thinking like one and one and then they grow up and i can also put some planting around it as well who knows maybe more hardy geraniums i do love them not too much because this is like my walkway for my wheelbarrow and all my my bins and stuff here's miss blondie <laughs> with the war horse of a wheelbarrow <laughs> it's doing well it's holding up and then the tree so we'll zoom in so i just there's actually two trees here the really really tall one is not in my garden and that is in the neighbors and then this one i'm gonna use my fingers god i literally just want to take the tips off them and then i'll show you closer but there is a lot of like crossing branches which isn't good for like if it can damage the tree and then disease can get in and then you've got a bigger problem so the, i noticed this tree like the past two years has just been getting a little unruly but it's like every time i trim it it's like it activates it to be like let's grow <laughs> so i'm gonna it's gonna get a nice trim and then yeah, hopefully the rain stays off. And then the other plants that I ordered. So my plan is the magnolia tree around here, just to give some height. It has really nice foliage, like in autumn as well. Obviously it flowers in spring, which is really pretty. So I was thinking around here in that gap, and then I can underplant, and it just gives some height. I'm trying to get more like height into, into the garden. My plant delivery just arrived. I'm so excited. Let's have a little look. Okay, let's start with small stuff. So I I just love hardy geraniums. So I have the common like purple ones in my garden and I got some other ones last year and they had like a lilac-y kind of colour. So I got these to go around here and I got four of them. So I got two pinks. I ain't gonna even pronounce that. <laughs> so this one has like a white flower and this one has that lovely pink. And then they're really good at like making dividings. So I wouldn't divide these ones, but like my neighbor gives me dividings of like the common kind of like purple ones. These are the two climbers. Love the sound of a robin singing. I will give you, I don't know if you can see, that's the name of it for reference. Then two camellias. I love these because they're like shrubby. I don't know. So let me get you the name. So Brushfield Yellow. So they kind of, I thought they were white, but whitey yellow. <laughs> so I just got two trellis. And these are just for the climbers. I'm gonna paint them white and then they'll go like up the front and then my tree. 
very happy with the tree and also it hasn't blossomed so my neighbour has one of these and it's blossomed but this one is only starting how pretty and I love how I love how it's like twiggy if <laughs> that doesn't make sense but basically when it's going to be in the border in winter that's like what it's going to look like and then it will flower grow foliage so it'll you can see through it is what I kind of meant but yeah time to time to plant Okay, hands are washed. Clean. Okay, so today was a really good garden day. Um, camellias are planted. Magnolia is planted. I didn't obviously plant it. <laughs> my friend's dad did. And my tree is just trimmed a little bit. You might notice a big difference because I can confirm there is blackbirds in the tree. And that was probably the egg that I found last, um, was it last week. <clears throat> the broken one that was on the ground. And they seem to be in, there's like an ivy bush that they were flying into beside the tree. And then there's ivy in the middle of the tree and he's like, they seem to be going in and out of there. So he's like, there's probably a nest. It's just kind of excited. I don't know why. I feel like baby animals are just cute. <laughs> <laughs> so literally just trimmed off any kind of dead branches but didn't go anywhere near where I had a feeling there was a nest. So that's good. Looking fresh, looking fresh. My friends had also planted a magnolia. Why do you like, <laughs> if I was to dig a hole for a tree, I'd still be digging. <laughs> I need to do some like weights or something, do I? Oh, see what they're digging, especially my soil full of rocks. They pulled out some rocks, but um, obviously with the depth of a tree, I would probably plant it too high or something, but I'm gonna put my tools away for today and then maybe tomorrow I'm gonna pot it up. Oh, also, I got lupins. Um, my friend's dad, see this is why I love gardeners because it's always giving. He was like, oh, it, any use for five lupins? And I was like, yes. Um, he planted these, he's like, they're from last year, uh, from seed. So I was like, happy days, because I think lupins, they're lovely and like cottage gardeny. Um, I love the flower that they give off. Them and foxgloves are like really cottagey. I think I might actually put them in the front border. Maybe one or two in the back as well. I'm going to have a cheeky tin now, because it's lovely and sunny. Um, cheeky tin. Yeah, tomorrow, bit of planting in the border. I think I'll plant them geraniums, the hardy geraniums. And my hardy geraniums in the front, Jimmy, they are, they're coming back alive, so I'm happy with that. 
almost at the end of the mulch bag so I used a whole ton and I didn't think I would so and I was laying it on thick while I had it you know what I mean so I'd say I've got another two wheelbarrows left of mulch which I might just keep for dressing pots there is some pots outside my door that are just full of random things that have self-seeded so that's a job in itself taking them pots in seeing what's in the pots and then just like thinning them out because they're a riot but that could be for another day. And now I'm gonna have a tin and sit in the greenhouse. Actually, before I go inside, let me just share the two camellias, nice and cozy. This is where the plastic was. I can confirm it was not a dead body. It was just some plastic with some gravel. Who knows how long it's been there? But anyway, nicely dug up, put down the like azalea, not azalea, sorry, ericaceous, like soil conditioner stuff. Um, so hopefully they grow and they're happy. And maybe this time next year, they'll be like up here. So if I stay really still, we might be able to see Mr. Blackbird dancing at the pond. I don't know why I'm talking really quiet. The bird doesn't mind. But I think the black one is the male and then there's a brown one and I think that's the female. But I don't know if we, he's on top of the fence there. We might be able to see him fly into the nest. Well, the little bush where I think his nest is. So yeah, they are living in the tree. And here is my tree. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. I feel like mother nature herself planting a tree, but um, I'm really happy that it's not in bloom yet. I thought, because my neighbour's one is in bloom, I thought I would miss the bloom this year on it. But there is loads of buds. And one little bloom here. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how this how this grows this year. And I love that like you can kind of see through it. I can plant underneath it. Very happy. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down vlog I'm literally waiting to go out I'm getting a lift I have my bag on <laughs> and I was like I never ended my vlog so we'll have the chats before I get collected delighted with the bits that I got done in the garden obviously there's still loads to do I've loads of planting to do but I'm trying to tackle my two problems which is getting a full border and having height and some climbers so one thing I have learned is like it doesn't have to be perfectly like low, middle, high. I kind of like that kind of bit of wild-ish look to it. Not too perfect, basically. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to get better at is having things at different heights um, and checking them before I plant them. How, how tall are they gonna go? Also, I'm delighted with my little tree. Um, obviously, it'll be years before it becomes absolutely 
ginormous. They actually have huge magnolias in botanic gardens if you want to see them in full bloom. And also, I wanna shout out my friend Karen, who I always reference, but she does have her own YouTube channel and she does mainly like beauty um, and lifestyle stuff, but she has, she is gonna start popping up some of her garden journey because she is like me. She has that standard common rectangle back garden with a wall, fence, um, and we have similar garden problems as in we want to create some nice borders and that's what she's gonna do this year. She's trying to make a border and some more like raised beds. And actually, me and Karen, when we went to, we went to the nursery where I actually bought my bits from, but when I was at the nursery, I got too overwhelmed and I didn't know what I wanted to buy. So I just needed to see and then think and then I placed an order. But we play this game when we go around the nursery and it's guess the price when it comes to trees. <laughs> because, like, there, I'm sure there is logic, but to my innocent, untrained garden head, it's like, I'll like, guess the price and it could be a twig and it'll be like, you know, 100 euro. <laughs> And then there could be this huge tree and I'd be like, that's easily a thousand. And it'll be like a hundred. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So we go around playing like guess the tree and they have established trees actually out in Tully Nurseries. They have like huge ones, like ones that you see out on the road. And actually one thing I was, uh, when I was doing the gardening, when I realized how expensive established trees are, I became so grateful. And I think gardening, it does give you like an awareness of the land, the more you kind of, like garden and I have like easily seven trees like borrowed landscape that's over that wall and it's only something I mean I've lived here for like it'd be nine years the end of the year so I only now have this appreciation for them trees up until then it was like the leaves from these trees um but it's like because I know how long and how expensive it is for them to like to have trees like that I just was sitting and I was like god I'm so grateful to whoever planted them trees probably 20 years ago or more because they're huge um, and they're my borrowed landscape and I just became like really grateful for the trees. There was actually what started me off on my tree nerdiness was there was an episode of Gardener's World and I'm sure you'll probably get it on YouTube. It was a couple of weeks ago. Was it a couple of weeks ago? It was like one of the first or second episodes back in the season and he, it was just about trees. And I was like, oh, this will be a boring episode because trees. And I was like, oh my God, like trees. And actually I have, I have two that I have. Well, one is in a pot, that's the olive tree. I actually got that as a present, best present ever. And then I have that prunus, don't know what it is. I just know it's prunus something, um, it blossoms. And that was planted about six years ago. That's the one that's in my front border. And you've probably seen it in like a tidy up video. It was, it blossoms for about four weeks at most around about February time. And I love it. And then it has a lovely orange leaf then in autumn. And yeah, I'm here years and it's still a bit of a twig. <laughs> but trees teach me patience. They teach me patience. That's my waffling for this video. Um, I think next week I need to tackle all of those pots. There's stuff that has like self-seeded in pots and there is stuff that I thought was dead last year and I just put it in the pot to see what it would do, but they're not dead, they're coming back. So I need to literally sit and divide up what is in these crazy pots and tidy them up and tidy the front. So yeah, still lots to do. And still no sign of my lift. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you all in the next video.